so almost in every single one of my videos i see people asking me how i got this good and what the secrets are on getting good in this game well in this video i'm gonna teach you everything i know about blocks versus pvp and, and how i got decent in the matter of two months so let's start by the first thing that i'm gonna be talking about in this video and that is aim you already know in blog shoots that you gotta aim with like almost everything you gotta aim with god human for an example with soul guitar with spiky trident you got soul cane one of the best examples is shisui you just have to be you just need aim to even use the sword in the first place and i'm gonna show you guys my tricks and how i got good in aiming people might find this controversial but honestly this is the main reason why i got good aim on blocks fruits if you want to get good in blocks fruits aim i'm not even kidding with you play spiky trident and light fruits i might be wondering ready vex what the heck are you talking about why would you need to play with light and spiky trident to get good at aiming well, first of all as you already know spiky trident and light are like the only fruits and swords that you can like aim with like light is like almost all just aim it can't like do anything wrong with this you just have to aim correctly so by the time you use this a lot like spiky trident and light you will slowly start learning how to aim better automatically without even noticing one thing i would really recommend doing as well is using other stuff like using skilled builds and using like shisui tushita yama or soul cane one of these four swords best bet that i have is even shisui want to know why the harder the swords are to play the better you get a pvp and the faster you get a pvp if you want to train your aim i would highly consider going to like random bots and starting to attack them regularly once you got the movement of each sword you basically know what you need to do now you just go ahead and start bounty hunting people and with the time you'll get better at aiming for everybody wondering what sensitivity i use in blocks fruits this is the exact sensitivity i use in blocks fruits 0.36 and i mostly play on free cam i don't play on shift lock i just don't see the point why so now that we got this out of the way we got another thing that we need to talk about and that is prediction let's say somebody's a portal user right and he does the x attack and then he just dashes right to you right if you have any fruit that could stun the enemy in that exact moment and you basically have an opportunity to predict them let's say the portal guy is dashing right you just do your X attack before he even continues his dash. And then once he dashes and you already have your attack open, he gets stunned. So basically, it's like a net. He basically gets stunned and then you can do whatever you want to. This applies to Soul Guitar too. Other fruits like Paw. You got gravity that you could also use. You could dough. Basically predict with almost every fruit there is. Portal is obviously not only the case. Predictions also have to do a little bit with aim. So let's say the enemy is right over here, right? And you're right over there. Like once the enemy is running this way, you just want to snipe like this. The enemy will run into like the shot of whatever the thing you're using. And they will get stunned or stuck. Or they will get pulled to you if you're using a spiky trident. And this is one of the most things that helps me out a lot in people pvps and this is why predictions are extremely important in pvps and probably talking about predictions want to know why predictions are also extremely good well not everybody is using the shark race so it makes pvp a lot harder if you're playing a race that could get you like killed in a one-shot combo let's say for an example you're playing human or mink while we're talking about predictions, there's another thing that really fits with predicting stuff as well and that is kentrick you guys already know what kentrick is or most of the people already know what kentrick Kentrick is. Kentrick is basically dodging your enemy by using your optimization hockey in the perfect moment. Let's say your enemy does the dragon C attack, and then they want to pull you with the spiky X. Right in that moment, when he shoots his spiky X, you want you want to do is just press this. Because the spiky trident X actually doesn't hit if you have your obvization hockey on. This is one of the examples of what you can use your obvization hockey with. That's obviously not everything. You could use hockey for so many things. And it could really save you in sticky 1v1 situations. And obviously this applies to every race. And obviously we're not gonna count shark in. But this applies for every race. So you could use Kentrick for your own good prediction and kentrick are like the best friends that you need to like master and block suits if you master prediction and kentricking you're basically good to go if you're a new player and want to start pvping on block suits what i really recommend to do is not playing with any of the, like the extreme spammy fruits like if you're gonna start off playing with leopard the first second you join block suits i don't think that you're gonna survive that long and especially not when you get into high bounties if you're just playing leopard the whole time 
only thing that you can play in the end will be leopard and without a doubt will be leopard i've seen a lot of people like portal users once they have been using portal all the time to get max bounty once they started playing something else they were playing like literal 10 millions like i'm not even kidding to you fought a lot of 30 millions and a lot of 30 million plus bounty hunters that were using portal once they use something else they just started playing horribly and that is just because of one reason you get too attached to a spammy fruit that you don't even know how to play other fruits they say play other fruits i mean play other fruits so don't just stick with portal all the time personally me i will play every single fruit there is and just master every single fruit after a while you'll get automatically good on everything see i do everyday streams and i pvp a lot of people in my streams the concept that i do is simple i ask my chat to give me recommendations of fruits that i should use in the pvp for the next 1v1 and they basically say random stuff like flame v1 or kilo or all that kind of stuff i might have lost a lot of matches but now with the time i I literally learned how to play with these fruits one after one if you want me to play with kilo i could literally play against a 30 million using kilo right now in this second and that is just because i've pvp'd with every single fruit there is in this game so i basically have the knowledge and experience so that's obviously not only it as there's still way more to this we're going down the rabbit hole with this one trust me i know this might sound stupid but when you're playing against a 30 million keep losing and you're not even like a high bounty player what i really recommend you to do keep asking for a redo no matter what you do keep asking for a redo why this might be good let me tell you one thing humans what do humans do humans learn from their mistakes right so when you pvp at 30 million you learn from your mistakes right when you lose you lose like three times four times i don't know five times but then something clicks something makes sense and you start realizing how to play against 30 millions this is the exact reason why i'm able to pvp 30 million bounty hunters i've even defeated 50 millions for 40 millions well you want to ask why how and what the heck because i keep doing the exact same process i keep fighting them i keep asking for that redo even if that's gonna annoy me or bug me or do whatever it is necessary to ask them for another one v one and trust me when I say this, it will help you out a lot on figuring out how to play this game and how to get good at it fast. One thing I want to mention too is don't play with like Shark. Shark literally makes you worse at PvP. I'm not even lying to you. When I started PvPing in Bloxfus, right? I was playing with Angel and Human. And then like two months ago i started playing with shark just to test it out i'm not even gonna lie to you i became so bad because i was relying too much on my v3 i'm not even lying to you shark literally automatically makes you worse at the game you rely too much on your v3 that way you're gonna forget catching and all that you just think that your life is gonna be easier and all that kind of stuff which is in reality not happening i really don't advise you playing with shark otherwise just switch play with like angel maybe cyborg you don't necessarily have to play with human ghoul or mink but it's better to know and learn other than not learning and staying at the exact same process you've been on for like more than a month but the love of god i don't want to see 12 millions playing with gun bro i've seen people literally 11 million 13 million they saw pro players play with gun and then they started playing with it too no don't do that as a 13 million bounty hunter you don't know how this game works and playing with gun is an exaggeration you're gonna lose you're gonna lose a lot of games you don't have game sense don't do it it's just not worth it you can try it out later if you get better at aiming better at predicting better at can tricking better at having game sense but don't try it out if you're on early bounty don't it's not worth it this is my complete guide and every single tips and tricks i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any questions down below and i'll see you in tomorrow's video goodbye